Hey guys, it's Andrew here from Simo Apps, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at completion handlers. So what are they? I'll give you a few practical examples, and then we'll go into the code. First one is, say I finish at the gym, then I have a protein shake. Say I finish at work, then I go home. Say I finish my meal, then I clean the dishes. Do you get the pattern going on here? It's essentially what happens when we complete one thing, the completion handler is going to essentially run the next action for us. So let's look at how we can do this in Swift code. Okay, so I've created a new single view application here. So I'm on the main storyboard. So I'm gonna simply drag a button onto it. Move that button, we're going to show an alert. So with that button, just connect it up to your code to a new function called show alert. So as an action, show alert. Now let's jump into the coding. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show an alert with buttons yes and no. And when the user clicks on yes, we're going to have a completion handler run after that to execute some other code. Let's do let alert equals UI alert controller, do title as hmm, message as should I complete this, and preferred style we just do as dot alert. Then we're going to add an action, so do alert dot add action, and in the action we'll add a UI alert action. We'll make the title for this one no, the style as dot default and the handler here, which we'll fill in as a nil. So for the no, we're not going to do anything with the completion handler. And I'm just going to copy out what it actually looks like in a comment so I can explain it later on in the code. So this is an optional UI alert action that we can actually pass on to the handler. So for no, we'll do nil. Then copy that line, change the title to yes. And in here, we're actually going to create a completion handler. So to have some code run after we tap on yes, we need to do these squiggly brackets here. Then we're going to create a bracket and do alert of the type UI alert action. Close off that curvy bracket. Then we'll do in print hi to the console. So this code is a bit confusing here. So I've tried to keep it as neatly formatted as possible. And it's confusing because we have this definition of what a completion handle looks like in this comment, but it looks nothing like it. So first of all, let's run the app just to make sure it actually works. And I'm not, not just making up complete rubbish code on you guys. Then quickly, we need to do self.present alert. And animated will we'll do true. And finally, completion on this as nil. So let's run that now. So we can see here, if I go show alert, I go no. I'll open up the console, there's nothing in there. Now if I go show alert, go yes. You can see hi is printed to the console. So it's actually working. So how does that work? Well, essentially in this handler, we're placing a function in here. The function has to have a UI alert action, which we have here. Then it will call this void function, which we do in. And whatever we put in here is that void. So we're printing out high. So you can separate this out into a separate function. So if we do function finish completion, and it needs to take in an alert UI alert action. And we print out woo to the console instead. And I'll just copy that line, comment it out. And instead in the handler, all we're going to do is pass the finish completion function. And that's it. We don't need to pass in the UI alert action because it automatically is done by the handler. So let's run that now. 
So we go show alert, go yes, you can see woo is printed out to the console. So this handler is calling finish completion, which has a UI alert action up the top here. Then it has a void, which is inside the function, which is the code to run, which is print woo. Just one thing to note, you can't really easily modify this to pass in a string, say message of a type string into here. It's just simply not going to work because that completion handle is expecting the parameter UI alert action than a void, which is a bunch of code. So if you wanted to call another function with some optional parameters, you need to create it like do action and pass in a, say you have a message as a string, pass it in, then you'll call the do action inside this code here. We've set a message high. Otherwise, you could call in a do action in this original alert one we created with the inline completion handler. If we spit that out, we can separate it and put another row called do action and pass in the high string there essentially. So that's how you would do that if you want to actually add a parameter or argument to your function. So that's how completion handlers work. I'll just delete that for now. That was just as an example. Just to note, some of them are going to be styled differently. So some of them, instead of needing a UI alert action, they might actually take in just an empty parameter and do void. So if you see one like that, you simply get rid of that UI alert action here or in your function and you just pass in nothing. So just an empty argument. And other ones can have other things. So you could have like say UI keyboard, say that was something, I'm just making it up. And that led into void, then you will need to pass in the UI keyboard in the handler. So you can download the source code for this app below. And if it helps you understand completion handlers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. I'll see you guys next time.